good afternoon and welcome back to the vlog. Please don't mind my hair. <laughs> I did not wash it. I just kind of rinsed the roots. I did kind of wash my roots and scalp, but like <laughs> I was not in the mood to fully wash my hair. Hold on. I'm going to need to like sit you down for a sec. Okay, I'm back. I had to grab some hangers. Well, I had to hang some stuff up and then I had to grab some more hangers because I'm doing laundry right now, <laughs> which I feel like I'm always doing laundry on the vlogs, but that's just what's, that's just what's happening. So let me take these to hang up. John's in a meeting. Oh, it's dark in here. Ooh, spooky. Sorry. <laughs> um, speaking of spooky, is anybody else in like a fall slash Halloween mood? Like I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for Halloween. I want to decorate my house for Halloween. It is not time for that. <laughs> But I really want to. I've been literally on YouTube. I've been watching people's videos that are like Halloween decoration collection or like there's this one person <clears throat> who goes out. Her whole thing is like Halloween themed and she's doing like hunting for Halloween decor <laughs> already. And like it's putting me in that kind of fall Halloween-y mindset. Because you see pie. I feel like I can't get a good angle right now and like my voice is going in and out. I don't know. Um, I went to the barn this morning like you saw. Navigator was so good. There were a lot of distractions, um, just a lot of stuff going on, but he was really good. And then I actually hacked him out in the big field in the back, which I think I've only done like one other time with another person. But I did that today and he was actually pretty good. He didn't want to go through some of the deep water, but, and it wasn't really deep. It was just, it was really wet back there because we've had so much rain lately. So anyway, so I took him a different way around, but he was good. It was just like a good ride. We had to like hurry up and come back though because he was getting swarmed by mosquitoes. <laughs> kind of out of breath right now, don't really know why. Um, but yeah, since he was getting swarmed by mosquitoes and I'm almost out of fly spray, I ordered from Amazon again, which, which I try not to order from Amazon that much because you know, it's like a big corporation, um, <laughs> billionaire. I don't want to be giving him money, but like it is so convenient sometimes. And I knew I would want fly spray to take with me tomorrow. So I ordered some fly spray that's going to get here today. So I don't know. Um, I've just been, that's been happening. I feel like lately it's like, oh, we need this one thing. Amazon can bring it to me today or tomorrow. I'm going to use that. I feel like I look so like haggard or something. I don't know. My hair's not really that dirty. I got sweaty, but like I washed, you know, like I said, my scalp. Um, it's just kind of frizzy. The purple's still looking pretty good. Although I will probably touch it up soon. Like you can see it's kind of fading out. But anyway, that's all I have to tell you right now. I need to find some lunch. I'm really hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna have. We're not out of groceries, but we didn't go this past weekend because we went earlier in the week, like on Monday or Tuesday. And we probably should have gone because we are running low on a few things. Also, do you love this lighting? Um, yeah, I need to find something to have. I don't know. I just have a salad. Maybe. Oh, I can't. You know what? I'm I, pff, not happy with how I'm looking. Excuse me. I don't know if you can see what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Let go of my pant leg. You're stuck. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to put a hole in my pants. What are you doing? That's all I have for right now. I'll take you along for the rest of the day. Not a lot going on as far as I know. John has a eye doctor appointment and I have already done my out and about and going to the barn. So I'm probably gonna chill <laughs> and maybe work on a craft project I've been doing. I'll show you that in a minute or a little later. I don't know, um, but yeah, I'll just check back in soon. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> and I ended up having leftover pizza, homemade pizza that we made like a week ago I don't know so that's what I had for lunch not the best but it was fine <laughs> we just really need to go to the grocery store like I was saying um but now I'm children can you not hey go on are you cornered you better stop both of you need to stop what I was about to say is I have, I just got a new toy for them yesterday and I was going to get it out, but apparently they are fighting. Um, but I'll show you it. Let me just turn my camera back around. So this is it. It's a treat puzzle, which I had made one of these out of a cardboard box for Margot a while back. 
But this one, she was destroying that one. So hopefully she can't destroy this one since it's like hard plastic. <laughs> but basically you put the treat in here and then cover it up. And your cat has to figure out how to turn that around. Alternatively, put the treat in there and put that on and they have to figure out how to do that. Or like the hardest mode, you put the treat in here and then they have to push it down to get the treat in the hole and push it back up. So I think to start, we're just going to, I'm just going to like put it under the little black things. It's supposed to look like watermelon kind of, which I think is cute. Like I said, I've been wanting to get them one of these for a while. Margo's just really, really smart and she needs like something more stimulating. Pi likes, the, like she always played with the little puzzle box that I made for them too, but Margo really wants to like get into stuff. And I think she's just like smarter. No offense to Pi. <laughs> she's just a really smart cat and she wants to get into things. And so I figure why not give her something that it's actually okay for her to get into. So that's why I got that. But I'm going to put some treats in it and just see if they can sort of figure it out um, and let them play with it for a little bit. Okay, the treats are in. I just put one in each hole for now. So now let's put this down and see. Don't spill it. Hey, you guys want to look at this? Come here. What is that? It's a puzzle. Oops, that one went the wrong way. Look, there's a treat in there. See? What do you think? I'm gonna give it a try. Probably just smells kind of weird. Oh, I got one. Are you gonna let Margo have a turn? Good job, Margo. There's only one left. Who's gonna get it? Probably Pi. Are you gonna give Margo a chance here? Oh, I'm so sorry. I think you've gotten enough though. There's no more, you got them all. I'm actually kind of surprised <laughs> that Pi was able to figure it out so fast. Um, and she really got into it. I'll have to put some more treats. I'll have to let Margo give it another try. I mean, obviously Margo knew how to do it. She, she is just like, doesn't, like she sort of defers to Pi, especially when it comes to food. Like if Pi tried to steal her food, she would probably let her, um, but. Yeah, I guess I'll put some more like treats or something in so Margo can give it another try. I'm thinking I might actually have to put it on like the hardest level for them next time I put treats in it, but I think they'll like it. I think it's like a fun thing for them to get into. This seemed easier for them than the thing I made them, which I guess since this is more compartment, and mine was just like a big empty box that I cut holes in and they had to reach in and get the train. <laughs> so anyway, but I think that's good. I think they'll have fun with that. Anyway, right now, I think I'm gonna finish watching Criminal Minds. I don't even know if I said that I was watching it. I, for whatever reason, I was like, I'm gonna start watching Criminal Minds from episode one, season one. So anyway, I did that. I'm on season, or I'm on episode two right now. So I'm going to finish the episode I'm on, and then I think I might go upstairs and work on a craft. I don't know. Um, but that's what's going on right now. And I'm still waiting to hear from John when he will be on his way home. He's at his eye appointment right now. All right, we're upstairs now, obviously. It was weird lighting for a second. Um, and I'm going to work on a little craft project. <laughs> this is a craft project that I have had since I was a kid. Um, it's a latch hook kit. Well, let me just show you. So here it is. It's Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, if you can't tell. <laughs> and this was just in my closet back at mom and dad's house in my old room. And every time I go, I always like bring something home with me. And this time I was like, I'm going to bring this thing home and I'm going to finish it. And do you know what? I've made a lot of progress because I think I only had like probably less than a quarter of it done that I ever did when I was a kid. And I don't know why I didn't finish it. Um, so I'm finishing it now. And it's actually so relaxing. It's like a fun repetitive motion like it's so fun i was just walking around doing laundry and stuff and my watch thought that i was doing a workout because i was walking for so long so i had to stop it um anyway so i'm gonna work on that right now because that's like i've been a really fun thing i've been doing this week just like getting in the zone watching youtube or a tv show and like or i guess rather listening while i'm doing this and just working on it so i think that's what i'm gonna do for now um I'm trying to think if there's anything else Trying to get comfortable here. 
if there's anything else I need to tell you about, but I don't think there is. Not right now. John's home finally. His appointment took a little bit longer just because it took them a while to take him back to start the appointment, but he's home. Yay. He's back at work now. And I think we are going to get takeout for dinner just for something fun. And also since we don't have a ton of groceries in the house. So anyway, I don't know if you can hear Margot in the background howling. She must have a toy. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm going to work on this, maybe pull up something to watch or listen to, maybe a podcast, I don't know. And then we'll just continue in a little bit with the vlog. I wish I had a puzzle to do, but I have done all the puzzles I own. Like every single puzzle that's in my puzzle closet, which you've seen, I've done all of them. And I recently finished 1500 piece, which I have done before. Um, but now I'm like, I need to get a new puzzle. I need to like stop by Goodwill or something and see what they have <laughs> because... I'm going to need some new puzzles for the summer because it's it's going to be hot. I just know. Okay, so I was about to start doing my craft, but then I remembered that I need to pick up an Amazon order that's outside the front door. So I'm going to do that. I ordered fly spray. I think I talked about that already. Let's see a hat in a bag like that. Interesting. Hello. What you doing? Hmm? They just put it all in a bag together. It was fly spray, spotlight, which is fly ointment that I used to like to put on his face. And then um, baby rash cream, because I put that on his nose so his pink part of his nose doesn't get sunburned. But do you know what? It was just in that bag loose and some of the fly spray had leaked inside the bag, which is gross. And it was like all over the everything. Not a ton, just like a little bit, but still frustrating. <laughs> and I'm out of breath as usual, probably walking like too fast up and down the stairs. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, now I'm going to get to work on this and then like maybe journal. I don't know, but that's what's going on. It's like 530, not 530, 430, I think something like that. And yeah, that's all I know. All right, here is the stopping point. I think, I don't know how many rows I did, but I, I hadn't done any of this like cloud shape yet. So I did a few. <sighs> I could probably finish it tomorrow if I really wanted to. There's really not that much left, but yeah. It's looking pretty good. I don't know why it took me so long to decide to actually do this project, but there you go. Hello, there's some food for you. Mm. Oh, maybe number one. Oh, baby number two. There's Margo. And here's John. I'll tell you what's going on. I think I said we're going to get takeout. Yum. Let me slip my nasty shoes on. Also, my whole outfit right now is actually so... It's extremely casual. Let's just say that. These pants do not really fit correctly. They're kind of too big and baggy. But I'm just trying to be comfortable. <laughs> the shoes, horrible. But you know what? We're going to get Thai food, so I'm excited. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Thai food, pizza. John will try Thai food one of these days. We've talked about it. <laughs> right. Mm, okay, hello. Awful lighting, awful lighting. I am in bed, clearly. Um, <laughs> And so we've had a it's it, a time change has happened. It is now like ten o'clock. I don't even, I don't know what time it is. It's about ten. John's just getting in the shower because he is gonna take a shower tonight. Because oh, that just reminded me. We gotta put their stuff away. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Um, tomorrow, Pi and Margot have to go to the vet. <gasps> um, hold on, it's about to be dark and loud because the dishwasher's going. Anyway. Hi and Margot have to go to the vet because they are having dental work done and so lucky for them they don't get to eat anything tonight uh, <laughs> they can't have any food until after well starting at midnight tonight they can't have any 
So I'm just gonna put all their stuff away. I kind of am thinking I should put away their auto feeders too because I just know they're gonna try to break into those. Hi, Margo, she's in the box there. Um, and I have to put away their water also. Okay, you know what, let me do that real quick. Okay, dark again. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I put away their food bowls like that we give them wet food in. I'm gonna ask John what he thinks when he comes out of the shower, if he thinks we should um, just, like I just kind of covered up their automatic feeders. We're gonna be leaving before they even go off in the morning, so, but I'm just worried about, Margo sometimes like rattles it and tries to shake pieces out. <laughs> um, and then I'll ask him if he thinks we should put that away in the pantry and like what we should do with the water, so. But I'm gonna wait till he gets out of the shower for that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what time is it? Let me see. Oh, I can't even see the clock from here. It doesn't matter. It's after 10, I think. Wait, my watch is right there. It's almost 10. So anyway, I'm in bed. I'm going to read for a little bit. I'm reading a pretty good book. Um, it's called A Lavender House. It's a mystery. It's just like a straight up, there's been a murder type of mystery. Um, not like a dramatic, suspenseful, like domestic thriller type, which I read a lot of those. This is just like more of a straight up, there's a murder, the main character is a police officer, or a former like detective who, he got outed for being gay, it's the 50s. So he got outed and now he's, he was fired from the police force, but then this family hired him. Um, so anyway, th there's been a murder inside the family. It's kind of like a locked door mystery, I think, because we're gonna find, I feel like the culprit is one of the five or six people that he's interacting with inside the home. So I don't know. It's really good. I just, I've been reading a lot of books lately and I, I started this a while ago, but it's been kind of put to the side because I've been reading a lot of other things too. So, but this is all I've got checked, not checked out, but this is the book I'm working on right now. So I probably will read that for a little bit. Um, so far I recommend it. So if you're interested in just like a good murder mystery, <laughs> um, you might want to check it out. Hello, good morning, welcome. Actually, I don't know if I need to say welcome. I don't know if this is going to be a new vlog or added on to the vlog that, you know, is in progress. So, hello, good morning, I guess. It is Monday, it's just now 10 o'clock, and I thought I would vlog because we might be doing something exciting today. So, something we've talked about doing for a really long time is getting a third cat and today I think when John gets out of his morning meeting we're gonna go over to the animal shelter and see what we can see <laughs> this is something we wanted to do for a while we've been talking about it we wanted to get another cat before Pi and Margo get like too elderly and then they would be really upset about that I mean they're not gonna be happy if we get a third cat I think they will adjust but of course it would be a big change at first but yeah, we've been talking about it, and then last weekend or two weekends ago, we went to PetSmart and looked at the cats, just as like kind of a first step to meet some cats and like decide if we really were up for it. And I think we want to do it. I mean, we've been talking about it for so long, and it's kind of just like, let's just do it. So we're going to go to the shelter, see who's there, see what we can see, and then maybe come home with a little... A baby cat. I don't know. I am nervous, but also I'm excited. I think it's a good thing, so we'll just have to see. Other than that, it's a rainy morning. Well, it's not raining right now, but it's gray and drizzly looking. Um, I just had some coffee. We did a short workout this morning, and I need to go ahead and get, get dressed, get ready for the day. Hopefully go see Navigator at some point. I at least need to drop off his supplement and some fly spray, so squeeze that in somewhere. And then I have therapy in the afternoon, so... I will need to be back before that, but it's virtual, so I like I can just do it from the house, which is good. Anyway, I'm gonna go get dressed, sort of start getting ready, so that whenever John's done, we can get on the road, and I'll try to take you along a little bit. We'll just have to see what happens. And yes, every morning, Pirates of the Caribbean ambiance. I love a good ambiance. This has been one of my go-tos lately. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit later. It's like an hour and a half later, John's out of his meeting in the bathroom. So when he comes out, I'm gonna find out what the plan is and we'll see what happens. Um, I could see it not happening today since it's already 11.30 and I think he has another meeting around two. So we'll just have to see, but obviously I will keep you updated. 
And if we don't go to the shelter, I will be going to the barn. So you'll get to see Navigator. So anyway, uh, that's all I know. I got all dressed. I fixed up the spare bedroom because that's where the, whenever we get a new cat, that's where it will go. That'll be like its little home base for until everybody sort of gets used to the idea that there's a new cat in the house. Um, so we got that all set up. Uh, although I need, I would need to put water in a bowl, but I'll do, I would do that day of. So I'll keep you posted. But also look at this thing. Are you in the house? Just hiding out in there? Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we're in the car. You see what's in the back seat. You see who I'm with. We're gonna go see what we can see at the animal shelter. So, keep you updated. I'm excited, are you excited? We'll keep you posted. There's our little baby. Hello. Oh. I'm out. Hi, sweet baby. Hello. You're gonna come home with us. We're gonna come back and get you tomorrow. We're gonna come get you tomorrow. Oh, good. Hi, dear. You want me to hold it? You want to hold the camera? Here. I love you. Oh, I know. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Hello. We're back in the car. And guess what we did? We adopted a little orange baby. Which is what we wanted to do and which was like what we were hoping to do. Um, so that's very exciting. So exciting. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah, I know. And we haven't, like, we didn't get to bring him home today because he has to get neutered tomorrow morning and then we'll go get him tomorrow afternoon. But that's fine. And so that gives us a little bit more time to like prep because I feel like there's a couple things we could probably prep for. So. But yeah, we got another cat in the house, another cat in the family. His name right now is Epona, but oh, we're probably going to change that. <laughs> I think we're going to change that. I don't know what we're going to change it to, but that, which that, that is a name from Zelda video games, which, so that kind of is like fitting almost, but I think we are going to change it. Um, but yeah, there's a new cat in the family and you'll get to meet him tomorrow, I guess, on the vlog. So anyway. That's all I got right now. And we're headed home. John has to go back to work. And uh, that's all I know, but very exciting. Look, we got two little babies. We got a very sleepy little baby. Hey, super sleepy. And then this little baby. I'm surprised she didn't want to go back to work. Hi there. She usually goes to work and John just went back in. You're so chill. Anyway, we're home. Trying to decide what I'm gonna do. I feel kind of like emotionally drained. It's been a busy morning, um, but it's good. We're gonna have a new little baby in the house. We don't know what we're gonna name him. Um, so need to think about that, I guess. And right now I actually need to make lunch because I'm really hungry. It's two, it's after two. So I need to make some lunch and then I have therapy around four, so I'm probably not going to go to the barn today unless I go after therapy. But we're actually, we're talking about after I'm done with therapy and John's off work, maybe going to the pet store and get a couple things we need for the kitten. Um, just a few extra, like some kitten food and, you know, stuff like that. So we might be doing that. I don't really know. But yeah, it's very exciting. I hope Pi and Margo do okay with the transition. Like... I think Pi for sure will be okay with it over time, but I think it will take Margot a longer time because she's very sensitive um, and just like she really likes how things are and she's very particular. Look, there she is. And I just don't want her to be like super duper upset. I know she'll be upset. I need to like sort of accept that now that she's not going to be happy for a while 
but I think it will all like work out. I've been trying to think about like how long did it take for Pi to get used to Margo? I feel like it wasn't that long. That's when I lived in that like tiny apartment on Lindell and like, I don't, like, there wasn't really a good way for me to separate them because, yeah, that apartment was so small. It was almost a studio, really. Um, but I must have sort of separated them for a while. But I feel like they kind of started getting along pretty quickly. But I just, I don't know if Margot will start getting along very quickly <laughs> with a new baby. But we'll see. I mean, we'll just have to see. And we'll take our time and do it as carefully as we can. And hopefully everyone will be okay with it. Hi, Margot. Are you going to be okay with a new baby in the house? Oh, did you hear my knee? Hello. Hi, little cutie. Hi there. You're sweet. All right, now it's time for me to find some lunch. And I think I might make ravioli. I have some mushroom ravioli that I got from the store the other day. Um, and that sounds... Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. That sounds pretty good. It's from Target. It's actually vegan. I didn't know that when I bought it. So I'll probably put some Parmesan cheese on top. But I think that is what I'm going to do. <sighs> Maybe read up on cat introductions and just have a quiet afternoon until therapy. Hello. It's a lot later. It is almost six. It's just about six. Um, and I had therapy. That was good. And now I think John and I are going to go to the pet store just to grab a couple things. Some kitten food. Maybe some toys. I don't know. We have a lot of cat toys. We probably don't need more, but also we might get something for him. I don't know. Um, and then also go grab pizza probably from Pie 5. So that'll be a fun little outing. We usually, <laughs> this will sound bad, but we usually don't go out after like 6 p.m. We're in for the night at that point <laughs> a lot of the time. But we're going to do that today. And Pie and Marco just got their dinner. Thomas just got his. Um... And yeah, that's basically what's going on right now. I think I just heard John. Him and all? <laughs> Don't mind how messy the counter is. Are you ready to go? Good morning. It is now Tuesday. Can you tell where I am? About to do a short ride, actually wearing like a tank top today because the UV index is really low. It's like a one. Um, so that's great. It's extremely humid, but it is like in the seventies. So it's not completely awful, but it's not great. Um, but we're just going to do a little ride. I haven't ridden since last Thursday, so it's been a while. Hopefully going to squeeze in like plenty of rides this week, as long as the weather cooperates, um, since my schedule will allow it, but we're also going to have a new cat in the house. So I don't want to leave him alone for too long. We're going to go pick him up this afternoon. I will obviously vlog that, but right now it is navigator time. <laughs> he looks sleepy. I caught him just after he had breakfast. Like he wasn't even turned out yet. So we're going to take it easy. Just do a nice little ride. And if you hear that other horse, that's Katie. She's his pasture mate and she's mad that he's not there. me separating out all the pieces and like putting them right side up and putting all the edge pieces in a box someone else wanted to go in the box ma'am you're making this difficult I guess I won't do the edges right now I came downstairs something just got delivered a baby gate and we got something else in here, let me show you. Ta-da! 
it's a pheromone diffuser to try and make sure everybody has a good time getting to know each other. And that's what the baby gate is here for too. Like I know a lot of this might seem overboard or crazy, but I just really, really want everybody to get along. <laughs> I, I don't know because like with Pie and Margo, like I said before, I was in a small apartment. It was, I feel like I introduced them kind of fast, but I'm just nervous <laughs> and I don't want there to be any like bad first experiences, especially Margo. She's very temperamental. Like I've, I think I've already said all this. She's temperamental. She's opinionated. She likes things the way they are. And so I really want to make sure she has an okay time. So the diffuser is supposed to like help, like it releases calming pheromones or something for cats. I don't know, but I'm going to try anything. So we got that. I'm going to plug that in soon. And then the baby gate is so that after, so we're going to follow the Jackson Galaxy way. So the, for like the first three or four days, nobody is going to see each other, or at least that's the goal. Baby cat's going to stay in that room. Everybody else is going to stay in the rest of the house, which is not that different because normally they don't get to go in that room. So it's not even like they're getting locked out of a place they're used to. And then we're going to slowly start like feeding them close to the door, doing scent swapping where we let everybody like trade spots, but still not see each other. And then finally, eventually, we're going to let them, we're going to put that baby gate up and let them see each other while, like, they're getting a snack or a yummy treat or their dinner from either side of the fence. So that way they can't, like, interact, but they can see each other. And then very slowly, like, get to integrate them into playing together. But he was just so little. I guess I was think like, I forgot how small a kitten is. He's so little. And I, I'm worried that Margo or Pia could hurt him if they get, like, scared and attack or... Like if they try to hurt him on purpose, like, so I really just want to do it right and make sure we have a good introduction. And so that's why I feel like I'm going overboard, but also like, I feel like this is what I need to do to feel like we're going to have a good time together. So anyway, that's all. John's in a meeting right now. It's about like 1.30, I think. Almost 1.40. Um, and then... They told us to come back and pick him up between three to four. So I think after Johnson with this meeting, depending on what time it is, we'll probably leave by like 2.30 to go over there. And then we're going to have a cat in the house. So yeah. Anyway, right now I think I'm going to set up the baby gate, the diffuser, and then kind of like get make sure everything's ready for his room. Okay, the room is set. Um, as you can see, the bed frame is off so that way he can't get under the bed and get into the box spring. That was my main issue. Um, we got this little toy set up that we got for him yesterday because we don't have any like good, like we don't have a lot of interactive kitten toys, I guess. And then I brought some other toys in here that Pi and Margo don't really play with because I didn't want to take any of their favorites. This is the blanket I was looking for that we can use for scent swapping. So hopefully he'll sleep on that. I mean, I guess he might sleep on that one too, whatever. And then this is where John and I will take turns sleeping. Our thought process was we'll take turns sleeping with him so that way he's not alone at night, but also Pi and Margo aren't alone at night. And so everybody hopefully is okay with that. Um, so I think we're ready to go. Litter box is set. I just need to bring in some water and a food plate. And then, yeah, I think we're basically done. I think we are gonna take the bed frame out because it does not need to be in here, but. Other than that, we're ready for a kitten. All right, the baby gate is not really installed. I, it's meant to go the other way because you can tell this should be horizontal, but I cannot get this. I can't like get it to unlatch. So, I don't know. I think this will work actually though, um, just cause it's mainly so that we have a barricade for when we're trying to feed them and they can see each other. And also if whoever's in here needs to like sneak out and use the bathroom in the night, little baby cat will be like blocked. I think it'll work. It's not ideal, but I think it's fine. Or maybe John can look at the thing later and try to fix it. Um, the only thing I have left to do now is set up the diffuser. So I'm gonna do that. I wanna put it kind of central to like the downstairs. So I guess like near the kitchen, but we have a lot of things plugged in here already. I guess we could put the nightlight somewhere else. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm a little stressed, can you tell? I'm just like anxious and nervous and ready to do this. Okay, the diffuser is installed. I figured it covers up like the top and bottom outlet, so I couldn't put it on this one very easily. 
because even if I put it on the bottom here, I don't want the diffuser to be going straight up into the other thing. There's Margo. Um, and so like just a lot of our outlets are in use. <laughs> So that's where it's gonna go. And I think that's okay because it's kind of like central to the downstairs in between like the living room and where the baby cat will be. It is closer to Margot's food bowl, which I think is important because <laughs> Margot sometimes just has opinions, don't you? Margot, it's gonna be okay. I think you'll end up liking the little, little baby cat. Anyway, I think that's the last time you're gonna see me for now because I need to just chill and kind of relax for a little bit. <laughs> so I guess the next thing you'll see probably is us picking up the cat and then we'll go from there. Hello vlog. We have our cute little cat here, currently unnamed. They call him Epona, but we're probably still gonna change that. He's we just haven't decided what yet. feisty right now. He had major surgery today and yet he's already ready to play. Aww. What do you think? We gotta come up with a name. Yeah, we do gotta come up with a name. That's the main, and also I just want everybody to be happy. The vlog's already heard enough about that. I've been talking about that this whole vlog. Mm -hmm. All right, sir, you're going home. He's crazy. You're going home. It's crazy. You don't want to go back in there. Okay, actually, you know what? He might be too smart. Yeah, he can go next one, too. You're gonna open that door? You can go in there if you really care to, buddy. Here. He wants the door. That's as big as you. <laughs> That's a big foot, huh? Okay, I just came out to get a plate and a bowl and Margot is suspicious. She's been growling. Pie is not too suspicious. But they didn't see him when we came in. I think we're on the right track. We gave them some treats just now. And now I'm looking for a spoon to take in so we can get some food for the baby. What do you have to say, Marie? I don't have anything. He's crazy. We just gave him some dinner. He's having his post dinner zoomies a little bit. Yeah, to finish this plate. Just you. Never seen. You've never seen a mirror before. Never That's just you. It's okay. Oh no, that's not real. It's okay. Hello. We're gonna be cuddly now. Oh my goodness, why are you so sneezy? What's the deal? Hi. You are so cute. Okay. All right, I'm back in the room with little no name. I don't know, we're trying to decide. We can't <laughs> seem to make a decision. Um, so anyway. But I thought I'd just come in here to hang out with him. We did, we were in here for probably, I don't know, after we got back from the shelter, probably close to an hour and a half, just kind of like playing with him and letting him settle in and making sure he would eat and use the litter box and all that, which he did. Um, hi. So anyway, now, then we went out and had dinner and, and took, there was a couple times during that hour and a half when one or the other of us would go out and check on Pi and Margo and like give them their dinner and just that kind of thing so anyway and we just had our dinner and now he's kind of sneezing a lot 
I decided to come back in here and hang out with him for a little bit. I think John's going to sleep in here tonight with him since I have to get up earlier tomorrow. I wonder if he's cold. I'm going to turn the fan off. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> he's so cute. Um, sir. Anyway, I thought I'd come back in here now that we both had our dinner and John's watching a thing out there and I was like, I'll come in here with him for a little bit. Um, and like, I don't know, look up more kitten names. We're trying to figure it out. There's a few that we like. We just can't really decide. <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like with Pie and Margo, I feel like I came up with their name on like the first day we had them. So I don't know why it's so much harder for this little orange boy, but... We'll figure it out. We'll come up with something. We have some good names that we like, like, but it's just hard to say, like, yes, this is his name. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> so anyway, I think we're just going to hang out in here for the rest of the night. I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because it's been kind of long between... Because I think this is a two-part... Not a two-part. The vlog is just... This is the end. So anyway, I might throw in some more cute little baby kitten clips at the end here. But for all intents and purposes, the vlog is done. So thank you so much for watching following along on the journey of adopting little no name. <laughs> if we have his name picked out by the time I upload this, I'll try to insert it here so you can so you can know what his name is. But thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.